Hey everyone, it's Lovestar. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install mods on Minecraft. I know there's a lot of tutorials about this already, but I wanted to make one specifically for you guys. Anyways, this is going to be for Java edition only. Bedrock modding is a completely different sphere, so this is going to be specific to Java. I'm going to show you how to install mods on both the default Minecraft launcher and also how to install mods on different Minecraft launchers. And for this example, I'm going to be using MultiMC, but it should be pretty simple on other launchers too. So let's start off with the first step of installing mods, which is to install a mod loader. Mod loaders are basically what runs your mods, so this is absolutely essential. There are multiple types of mod loaders you can choose from. Some of the most common ones are Forge, Fabric, or Neoforge. There are other ones like Quilt and some other mod loaders, but for this example, we're just going to be focusing on Forge, which is like the classic mod loader that everyone knows and personally it's my favorite. The only real thing you should know about mod loaders is that certain mods only run on specific mod loaders. Some mods are Forge specific, some mods are Fabric specific, so you might have to sacrifice some of the mods you can or cannot play with based on the mod loader that you choose. So I would highly recommend figuring out what type of mods you want to play with and check what mod loaders they have available before before you actually choose which mod loader to play on because you can't just switch them out once you already have your mods installed. So just choose wisely. There are so many mods under Forge and Fabric, so I'd recommend choosing one of those two just because they are so popular. Once we're on the Forge website, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Minecraft version that I wanna play on. Another thing to keep in mind is that certain mods are only available for certain Minecraft versions. There are certain versions of the game that are really common to use for Minecraft modding, specific ones like 1.7.10, 1.12.2, 1.20.1, 1.19.1, 1.21.1, these are kind of like the major modding versions. I usually play on 1.19.2 or 1.20.1 currently just because I like it to be more or less recent. So I'm going to go ahead and install 1.20.1 for this example. And all we're going to do here is, you know, find the version here. I'm going to have all these links down below so you can go directly to their websites. And I'm going to go ahead and click download recommended. So here Forge is going to give you a little ad, just don't click on anything, click on the top right here so you don't download a virus or anything. Anyways, my ad block is pretty good so I don't see anything. Anyways, skip. And there we go, we got Forge installed here. So once you've downloaded your mod loader, you're going to double click. Now we're going to install this as a client and make sure that this is your Minecraft folder. So by default this should be correct, so click OK. All right, successfully installed. Now, if your Minecraft launcher is open, this might not show up, so just go ahead and restart your Minecraft launcher. Okay, now, automatically, my installation shows up here as Forge 1.20.1, but if yours doesn't, we're gonna go to Installations, New Installation, and search for Forge, and it'll show up automatically here, or just whatever mod loader you used try to search for it. My installation is already ready for me, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and edit it and show you guys a couple more options that you can look through. Over here is the Java executable, which for most players will not matter, but if you're playing on an older version of Minecraft, like 1.2.2, 1.7.10, those types of versions that are way older, they might need a specific version of Java. So you might have to install and then find a different Java here. But if you're playing on a recent version of Minecraft, this shouldn't matter as long as you have the latest version of Java installed. And and over here is the JVM arguments, which basically means you can allocate more RAM to your Minecraft game by changing the number here. So I'm going to give my game six gigs of RAM and hit save. If your game is freezing or crashing or experiencing issues like this, allocating more RAM might fix that. Just make sure you know how much RAM your computer actually has before changing this number. Anyways, now we're going to launch the game. We're going to launch before we install mods just to make sure we have all the necessary files downloaded and that the game is actually working properly without any mods. All right, there we go. My game loaded just fine, so now we can quit. And here's the fun part, installing the mods. So there are a couple different places where you can install your mods from. The most common ones are something like CurseForge or ModRinth. There are some other ones, but these are kind of the two that I'm most familiar with. So we're going to install one mod from CurseForge and one mod from ModRinth, just so you know how both of them work. So I'm gonna download one of my favorite mods, which is Farmer's Delight. So we're just gonna search it up on CurseForge, and of course, it's the first thing that shows up here. So there are a couple things you need to check for before installing your mods. As you know, I'm running on version 1.20.1 with four. Forge. So we're going to make sure to check that this mod has Forge, and it does, and that it is available for 1.20.1, which it is. So as long as these two things are available for your mod, then you should be able to run it just fine. So we're going to go ahead and install this, and it's going to go to our downloads folder. We're just going to leave that there for now. 
All right, now let's install another one on Modrinth. So we're gonna go here to discover content, mods, and I'm going to install Simple Hats. This is another pretty fun mod that I like to play with. So we're just gonna check that it has the right mod loader and version available. We're gonna go to Forge and 1.20.1. There we go, so it is available. We're gonna go ahead and download this. Now, before you continue, I want you to check for something when you're installing your mods. Some mods require dependency mods, and dependencies are usually listed somewhere in the description if the mod creator is nice enough. <laughs> dependencies are basically like library mods that certain mods need to run their code, and you'll be surprised by just how many mods actually require another mod just to run, and if you don't have these dependency mods installed, your game will just not launch at all. So whenever I download any mod, I always read through the description to check for dependencies because so many times I've loaded up my Minecraft game and then just not been able to load it up because I'm missing dependencies. As you can see here, Simple Hats clearly says dependencies and there's specific ones for the mod loader that you're running. So if you're running Fabric or Neoforge, you're gonna need accessories and OWOLIB. <laughs> and for us Forge users, required is Curios. We're going to actually search for Curios and here it is Curios API and we're just going to install this for Forge and 1.20.1 there we go okay now we have our dependency mod and we should be ready to go all right we're back on the Minecraft launcher so how do you install these mods well nowadays it's really easy because you can actually access your Minecraft folder directly through the launcher which didn't exist back in the day and I remember us having to type percent app data percent anyways it was a whole mess to access your Minecraft folder we're gonna go over here click this and this is going to open your generic Minecraft folder so you're gonna search for the mods folder which should be here and now in this folder we are going to put all of our mods. So first Farmer's Delight, then Simple Hats, and Curios. All right, and that is pretty much it. Now our mod should be loaded once we hit play. And as you can see here, when Forge is loading, it says that our heap is 300, whatever, out of 6,144 megabytes, which is that six gigs of RAM that I allocated to the instance. And now our game launched, thank goodness. We have five mods loaded and you can check them here. We have Farmer's Delight, Curious API and Simple Hats. Perfect. That means our mods have successfully installed and our game runs, which is perfect. But sometimes you will run into crashes. Now I'm gonna give you a couple reasons of why your game might not be loading once you play with your mods, but this is not really gonna be a troubleshooting video. So just try these things first. Your game might be crashing because certain mods are incompatible with each other. Your game might be crashing because you're running the wrong mod loader or your mod is for the wrong Minecraft version. So be sure to always double check that these things are aligned with each other. Third, your game might not have enough RAM or you may be running on the wrong version of Java. For example, if you're trying to run Minecraft 1.20.1 on say like Java 8, it's definitely gonna crash because you're gonna need a newer version of Java. I think like Java 19, 20, 21 all work with 1.20.1. So make sure you're running the right version of Java. And just for those who don't know, Java and Java Minecraft are two separate things. I'm talking about Java as in Java from java.com, which is basically the application you need for running Minecraft. This is pretty much the dependency for Minecraft. <laughs> so make sure you're running the right version of Java for your specific game version. Check this out, Java even has a little shout out for Minecraft here. Minecraft is a sandbox construction game written in Java by Mojang. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, now that we have our mods running through our Minecraft launcher, let's also learn how to install mods through alternate launchers like MultiMC. So here is my MultiMC, and to start, it's pretty simple, and I'm just gonna be showing MultiMC for this video, but the process should be pretty similar with other launchers, I imagine. First, we're gonna click on Add Instance, and we're gonna do the same thing as we did last time. So I'm going to pick 1.20.1, and I'm going to name it Modded. Click OK. Now we're going to click on edit instance and we're going to install Forge or look, you can actually just install them all through here. So it's actually much more convenient. There's NeoForge, Fabric and Quilt. So let's click install Forge. We're just going to do the recommended version, which is this one. So click OK. All right. Now through here, we're going to open .minecraft. 
This is a whole separate dot Minecraft folder than your default one from your Minecraft launcher. So it's really customizable through custom launchers like MultiMC and stuff because you can actually play with the different sets of mods and mod packs without having to like switch your mods around through the mod folder. So I'm actually just going to take the mods from my Minecraft launcher and move them over to MultiMC. So we're going to go into mods and I'm going to drag and drop these. We can also change those same settings. So here we can check what Java installation we have. And I like MultiMC much better because it actually can auto detect what Java versions you have available. It's just way easier. So as you can see here, I have Java 8, 19, and 21 installed. So for this version, we're definitely gonna be trying Java 21. That should work just fine. And we can also select more memory. So I'm going to just click the up arrow until I get into the 6,000s, just so I'm like on the right number. I actually don't know if it matters or not, but I'm just gonna do it just to be safe. Okay, 6,016, perfect. Now click launch. And we can see the console running, which is pretty scary, but also pretty cool. <laughs> all right, our Minecraft loaded just fine, perfect. And of course we got all our mods here. So that is how do you install mods on both the default Minecraft launcher and on alternate launchers like MultiMC. I hope this tutorial was able to help you guys get started into the modding Minecraft world. It is seriously so much fun once you figure it out, but trust me, even as a modder who has been modding my game since like, since like even almost 10 years now, I'm still constantly running into issues when I'm trying to make mod packs and everything like that. So this is just a little warning. Modding is definitely a little bit tricky. Sometimes things just don't work and you don't really know why. Just trying to set up things like mod packs especially requires a lot of trial and error. And also just another really, 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 really important tip. If you're modding your Minecraft game, always, always, always back up your worlds before playing. If you're loading mods into your vanilla world for the first time, make sure to back it up. If you're making a new world with mods for the first time, make sure to back it up. Always, always, always back up your worlds, especially when you're adding new mods, getting rid of old mods or any sort of changes like that. Always back it up. Oh, and if you don't know how, let's just say I'm going to make a new world. So this is my world. I'm going to go to edit and make backup. Okay, so now to actually open your backup, you can open your backups folder here. And if your world corrupts for whatever reason, you have a copy of your backup here that you can just put into your saves folder if anything goes wrong. So always make sure to back up your worlds. Seriously, this is so important. So like biggest takeaway for this whole video is that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. But I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Bye.